Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of WMFG Tribe Talks podcast. This is your host Sonal and today I have with me another WMFG member Rama Diwan and she is going to share her knowledge and passion and perspective about vegan diet. I'm very excited and looking to talk and know more about it from Rama. Welcome Rama. Thank you so much Sonal for having me here. Uh, I have been actually looking for a platform to spread the awareness about uh, vegan diet and its benefits. And uh, I have been part of your community for some time now. And let me tell you, I am very glad to be part of it. And your energy is definitely <laughs> contagious. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I hope it rubs on me also. <laughs> <laughs> I think we are all mutually doing that to each other. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So yes, Rama, like I'm, I'm very excited and thank you so much for kind of agreeing to be a part of this podcast and you know, sh sharing your uh, thoughts and knowledge and passion about this thing. Uh, vegan diet has been a talk and has been something very interesting to every one of us. We want to know more about it. We want to know what, where it is going, uh, what is its impact on everyone. So can you tell me a little bit about when did you actually start this, this uh, vegan, what when did you transition to vegan and what motivated you to do that? Okay, first of all, I think uh, I think I should make it uh, clear that like vegan is not a diet. It's mm -hmm. basically a lifestyle. It's ah. an ethical way of living without harming any living beings uh, who are who um, have a soul. We believe that you know they have a soul. Anything who is living, we respect their life and uh, we see them as ourselves and that. And, you know, and so we try to not harm them because there are so many other choices of, for us, for humans to eat, like, you know, to, um, to eat. So my start, journey as a vegan started uh, about 10 years ago. I don't know the date because uh, it was not my plan to of become course, vegan. Yeah. <laughs> so I was, uh, I was raised as a vegetarian. But when I came to US, uh, I started eating non-vegetarian food and my in-laws were also non-vegetarian. Um, but whenever I was eating, it was always in the back of my mind that, you know, I'm probably not doing something right. But then uh, one day I stumbled upon a documentary on Netflix. I think it was Cow's Bracy. And I saw the kind of treatment um, cows were getting. Uh, in the name of dairy and how they were being sent to slaughterhouses, how their uh, small kids were um, right after the birth, because if it was a male calf, they take it from the mother and they send it to the slaughterhouse wow. directly. So uh, I was sobbing as I was watching the video and uh, the documentary, and that was the day I this. I mean, it was for me. It was not even a decision. It was. That's just, how, a just a change. Just, yeah, that, just that, it that, had to happen. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, um, so that that was the day I ended taking that dairy or chicken or um, no no kind of meat, no kind of uh, dairy, um, including eggs and uh, poultry and. Uh, um, cheese and anything that anything. has to do with mm -hmm. animals. So, so this is very interesting, Rama, that you said that vegan is uh, not like a diet. It's, yes. it's more like a lifestyle. And I'm kind of getting to understand that a little bit now. Um, I was raised as a non-vegetarian, but I transformed into vegetarian after getting married to my husband, who is who and my in-laws are completely, completely vegetarian. So, um, so uh, the transition has been very interesting to me. Thankfully, my parents are not very hardcore non-vegetarian. Like we, we had the choice of non-vegetarian at home, we used to eat that. But most of the time we used to eat vegetarian. So we had both the mixes in the equal proportion. So it was not a big change for me or it was not as a, of a hard change for me. Uh, but from vegetarian to vegan, uh, I mean, I have also, I'm also watching this different Olympics uh, and a lot of times it's so convincing and I want to do that. Uh, but yes, I'm still working on it. It's, you know, I, I still want to know that um, what is the transition point of time or, you know, how gradually you do that and things like that. What are the right. challenges? Uh, you know, because of course there's still so many people who are doing non-vegetarian, yes. so many people doing vegetarian. Um, and also it depends a lot on like, you know, your choices. Of course, the fact is it touched your soul, right? So yes. when you saw the doctor, it has to 
change you internally for you to execute it externally right so that's the thing so we all have to wait to the point where it touches our soul you yes. know but at the same time i feel like you know i have heard from many others also that how even health wise the vegan choices has kind of impacted them so so widely and so amazingly that you know See, health yeah. is health is an added advantage yeah. that you get yeah. it's, it's a you know it's just like a side effect of uh, going vegan when you right. are living ethically because i think uh, not i think actually i believe that uh, humans are actually not meant to eat meat mm-hmm. none of our body uh, like our physical structure our, our teeth like you know they are more like cows we grind food mm-hmm. and uh, so many times people say oh we have two canines but they canines are not good for anything right. <laughs> you know because you can barely tear through an apple mm-hmm. if if like you know if if uh, if someone asks you to just take take a chicken and raw mm-hmm. and eat it you won't be able to eat it mm-hmm. we have five senses which is like you know seeing hearing you know Smell, smelling yeah. you know touching and taste none of it supports killing an animal mm-hmm. we cannot see them in pain we cannot hear their screams we cannot uh, smell the blood we cannot uh, even the taste like you know raw meat you cannot of course you know like and, and our nails and our hands uh, you know they are not equipped uh, well equipped by nature to kill an animal mm-hmm. so these are some i always i don't go by studies i just go by i ask question to myself and see okay you know does it make sense to do it Mm-hmm. and um, i think the problem is like you know we have been told from the beginning we have been raised by saying oh because others are doing it you should also do it mm-hmm. and because this because this has been going on for a long time no because there are so many things we changed along the road like you know along our um, journey uh, so like you know we used to live in caves we don't live in caves anymore correct right so so that's you know that is is the matter of being aware like it's matter of um living consciously absolutely yeah. so that leads to my next question that this always kind of uh, you know it comes to my mind that is the vegan lifestyle for a specific kind of people because i i heard from many that oh vegan is more suitable for people who has some kind of diseases or you know they're trying to they have an immune uh, immune compromise or something like that that or some lactose intolerant people or blah 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 or maybe vegan is for somebody who who has certain you know resistance towards animals or whatever so i just want to ask you that for, since it's, a, it's it's been a decade that you are experiencing this lifestyle yes. what is your thought process and from yourself and also from the people around you that who uh, who is this lifestyle for vegan is for everybody all the humans uh should take a uh, plant based diet only because it helps you um uh, it helps you live a very good life it because when you are on a vegetarian diet uh, uh, sorry plant based diet right you realize the changes uh, your um, skin conditions change if you have any kind of eczema any allergies or anything like you know any kind of rashes you get it clears up um even nowadays like you know they are finding the scientists are finding that dairy is actually responsible for osteoporosis which is contrary to belief that yeah. we were brought up with brought up with yeah, yeah right yeah. we always said like you know calcium, calcium. Yeah, calcium. no you know um, especially and you know and the thing we have to again think about is milk is given by nature to a mammal for the baby for its baby mm-hmm. only the, that female's baby we don't look like calves we don't look like any uh, uh, like you know uh, a cow's baby so and no no other animal does it mm-hmm. take consume like you know someone else's milk so why are we doing it and if we really believe that milk is really that beneficial to us then why don't we consume our own mother's milk for throughout life mm-hmm. so those are some of important, important questions to ask ourselves and um, as you uh, as we like you know if it's good for or certain like you know group of people no it's is beneficial for everyone mm-hmm. and you will see how um how active you feel and how um energetic uh, you are when you take a, de- a vegan diet mm-hmm. and yeah i i totally agree with that and um i have seen people changing or 
always only talking about the positive aspects of the vegan diet. Yes. So definitely it has an impact. I mean, nobody said that, okay, I changed the lifestyle, I tried vegan and I didn't get any benefit out of it or it was it had a negative impact on me. Right. So definitely, and that's why the whole interest in this vegan industry or the vegan lifestyle is nowadays and yes. people are getting more and more aware and conscious and want yes. to learn more. The problem is, as you said, that we always believe in things which has been done for years and decades, right? Like exactly. when, you know, the people were in caves, they used to like roast animals, they used to hunt roast animals, eat. Exactly. That was their source of eating. So, you know, that has gone for years and years and years. Of course, things have been more civilized and people have learned to cook and use right. different kinds of equipment. Um, but they have not, for years, they have not done much research on whether it is good or bad or how it is harming them. Yes. They ate, they survived, and that's the, that was their lifestyle, right? But now with so much progress of technology, so much pro progress of science and research and understanding of your health and what every component, every molecule of anything that you're consuming impacts yes. you yes. in the deepest cellular level. Exactly. This is the time that why not take the advantage of it? Why not make our lives better? Right. I remember when I was a kid, there used to be a lot of this scientific articles in the newspaper saying that, yeah, scientists are working towards longer life of human beings. People want to live longer, people want to look younger, even yes. they, so I think this is the thing, this is the time, this is the, this is the, 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 the mantra or this is the magic that you can think of not only living longer, but living longer in a much healthier ma manner, exactly. healthy, healthy, longer and happier life, because you know, less disease, less, you know, things to worry about. Right. And right? because like, you know, it's not, see, when you are taking a plant-based diet and when you are not harming an animal, it's not just for your body, it's for your soul also. It's, it's, you are, you are a happier person. Uh, you are a more aware person. And um, also I want to bring, bring up one point here. It's like, you know, when in, uh, we say, I mean, you know, especially, I mean, you are brought up in India, I'm brought up in India, and we say that when a mother is nursing, mother should be happy, mm -hmm. and she should take good diet and all that, you know, because everything that she's consuming, whatever she's thinking, everything is going to the child through her. So when you are taking milk of a tortured cow who doesn't even get to see the sun, whose child has been taken from her, like, you know, what benefit you are getting from that milk? All that emotions, all, everything is going into that. And most of it is like, you know, hormones. Of course. Those, right? You know, hormones, they give them hormones. Forcefully, they are pregnant, impregnating them every year mm -hmm. and taking the child away. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, 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 I think as humans, we are the superior, um, uh, superior species on this yeah. earth. And we are the guardians of this earth and we are the guardians for this these small animals because they don't know any better right so instead of taking advantage that of them we should protect them and then when you do all the good things good things happen to you of and course. that's nature's way of giving you the reward like you know your health is is a reward from nature that's true that's so, true that's how I and i feel it. it's not only the the physical health it's not only that you say less of diseases and things like that it's also mental health exactly you'll see a boost in yourself that you know in a way you are you are kind of introducing positive things in yourself and therefore you're also going to contribute positively to everybody around exactly. you so you also feel mentally more boosted that you know you you didn't consume something which came through any kind of negative attitude or exactly. negative form of exactly. extracting it right yes. So that definitely makes sense. Now, now the challenge is that, of course, I mean, you know, this is not something that is going to switch like that. Yeah. Let's say we are talking about it. That doesn't make like another person who's listening to this going to switch it. Or maybe, as you said, like maybe you just saw a documentary and it impacted you so much and you believed it in so much and your heart and mind immediately was ready to change, yes. right? Yeah. So there's still like, you know, at least in this country, there's still like 70, 80% people who are still consuming meat and, you know, they their, their life is based on that. And, yes. you know, um, and the idea is not to like forcefully change them. No, because as I said, this is something that you have to realize internally. Yes. So, so I, I wanted to ask you that when you transitioned, maybe it was easier for you because you were already raised vegetarian, yes. but say, say somebody is raised non-vegetarian. So somebody is already aware that okay from the day one they're eating meat 
it is yes. coming from an animal it is coming by killing an animal yes. right or they're drinking milk it is coming by extracting the milk from an animal of course we didn't know a lot of details that we know now to all these right. different documentaries and things like that how they are even treated and how they are even what, what is going into the whole process but what do you think are the main challenges of you know kind of transitioning if somebody wants to transition diet wise or lifestyle wise what are the important challenges that they will face and what they could do to kind of mitigate those challenges yes so i think the challenge the most difficult part is because if you are raised as a bit is a non vegetarian or if you are used to taking dairy and all taste is number one people mm-hmm. that's what people say oh i cannot before even trying people kind of give up they are like yeah. oh no no i i can do it because it's hard no it's not hard at all it's not because thankfully nowadays there are so many companies who are making substitutes of dairy um, there are when you come, when you talk about milk there is oat milk there is almond milk cashew milk uh, soy milk so so many options are there and same way for um, for non vegetarian for beef and for chicken there are substitutes which are made from soy um so they can definitely try those things um and i i have seen like you know when people come they talk about they are like oh no 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 because all these things have so many preservatives they have this they have they have this they have that you know they uh, they they talk about like you know oh they they have uh, they, they try to read the labels but my question then again is that when you eat meat you are eating a dead body do you know what kind of disease is that animal has Do, do you know if that animal had diabetes or blood pressure problem or anything? Because all the diseases that we get, they also have the same things. They mm-hmm. also get the same things. So let's not go into too much detail on on like you know what kind of things they have. In any way, the sub meat substitutes that uh, companies companies like Beyond and Impossible they are providing, mm-hmm. they are much better than eating non vegetarian food. Mm-hmm. and people sometimes say oh you know they can have they can argue like you know but there i have heard from people saying oh they are like you know they are not getting they are not going to get enough protein or vitamin b12 or iron i just got my report my vitamin b12 is above range mm-hmm. it's not even like within range it's above range my my iron is all fine all fine like you know everything is i am in great health being 53 years old daughter of like 22 25 years old uh um, amazing girls and you know i mean i had no health issues at all mm-hmm. and i come from a family with history of diabetes cardiac issues and high blood pressure oh my goodness rama that is definitely <laughs> a game changer yes it is wow it wow. is so um so for if you are like I would just Well I just have to mention one. that she just uh, she just um said that she's 53 with two daughters 22 and 25 I just felt for a second that that is a myth because she is extremely gorgeous sitting in front of me and definitely not looking 53 maybe somewhere in the mid of the 30s um but as as you can see that we're talking about something and what actually changed the game for her and it's very interesting to know that you know how what vegan diet uh, vegan lifestyle can can make you can impact you over the years and think right. the thing is i feel rama like nowadays people want change like this yes they will like okay i will try vegan for a month and i'll see if i feel better i'll continue if i don't feel better i'm done right and this yes. is anything yeah, yeah. this is with anything yeah. people want instant change exactly. if they don't see that instant change they are like okay they give up and they yes. get back to what they were doing any change i think you need to give it time definitely you need to give it time you need to like the body if it was for years like say for 30 40 years yes. you say dk that means till 40s you have been into a different set of diet different yes. set of lifestyle yes. so it true. takes time to kind of revert that lifestyle and start seeing benefits of the the current one that you are introducing yes. it takes time yes definitely but the the thing is that the patients the belief the belief that yes. you know what you are doing is the right thing to do and the commitment to do it more consistently is what is very important yes because okay so i would like to mention here that if you think it from a 
from a perspective of diet, mm -hmm. you won't be able to right. go for too long because we know that you know, we have seen that you know none of the diets actually stay for too long. No, because true. you know people like you know there are temptations to eat other things, and then when you don't see results immediately, you get discouraged. So I would say just think it from from your heart and soul. When reasons are strong. Then don't. Then you don't go back. That's true. That's true. It's all so about the purpose, the it, reason, yes, the, exactly. the motivation. So, to... so when you think about, I would just suggest that you know, whenever you try to take uh, milk or let's say non-vegetarian food, just think about that animal. What that had to go through mm -hmm. for you to have a glass of milk. A calf had to die for that milk. Who was actually uh, the milk was intended for him. Mm -hmm. And there are so many things that we can consume. They are, they have nothing. Mm -hmm. They have nothing. They are already, you know, fighting very hard to survive on a daily basis. So I would just say, just be kind to every kind. And then your health is definitely an added advantage. You are going to glow from inside that out. That I can see. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and you know, and as I said, you know, there are so many documentaries uh, which are the evidence, which have evidence that people have benefited. Um, there are no, um, there is no harm, there is no um, negative side of going for for a uh, vegan diet. And with substitutes nowadays, it, it's very very easy. I think it's much easier to become uh, vegan in. Uh, in Western countries, mm -hmm. in Europe and, uh, and, and USA, than India. Of course, yeah. yeah. Because we have so many choices. Choices here. And internet is full of so many recipes, like, you know, for for going uh, plant-based diets. So I'm going to stop you here, a very important question. Yes. So when you did this vegan diet as a, or the vegan lifestyle, how about your family? Did they support you? Were they part of your like did they <laughs> that's a very important question because yes. you know we live with other people yeah. on a daily basis because as you said, we started with the fact that women are the one who decides the food, who decides the diet for their family, right? Yes. So but at the same time, we also have to see that, you know, your husband is liking it, your children are liking it, they're being supportive of it. So did you face any challenges in that aspect or how did it work for you? Okay, my family actually, my immediate family, my two daughters and my husband supported me. Okay. They never said why you are doing it or you should be doing it or what's the harm. And actually when they saw me, my daughters are also vegetarian. Mm -hmm. They were not vegetarian earlier, they are vegetarian now. And they are planning on becoming vegan slowly. Okay. My husband was a non-vegetarian and he became vegetarian. My in-laws, <laughs> my mother-in-law sometimes used to tell me, she's like, why are you doing this? Everyone else is eating. It, it doesn't matter, just take milk. It doesn't matter, take egg, you know, how does it matter? And it sometimes becomes hard to explain it to her. And um, I think one more thing, which is, uh, um, which is uh, good about me, I would say, is that I am a little strong-minded. Mm -hmm. when it comes to making decisions about which are right you're because in the right community yeah we yes, are always yes. minded women so if, 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 I, if, I, if we know that we are doing the right thing we just do yeah, it exactly. yeah. then i stick to it like no matter if the entire world is against me because yeah. honestly speaking uh, many times it happens you know when you try, try to talk about vegan lifestyle or something people get turned off they do not want to entertain that kind of conversation and uh, but that's totally fine that's because fine. I know I am right in my own mind. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, because I'm standing for uh, for the voiceless, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I have nothing to lose here. No, yeah, that's that's fantastic. Um, so so you never f face a challenge of cooking different things for yourself and for your you know or using different milk for yourself and your family. So it all worked out fine. No, my husband actually is the one who brought uh, non-vegan uh, sorry vegan milk for me. Oh, very nice, very nice. So it's very, very easy or it, it's less challenging when your family supports you because yes. they are the immediate people with whom you are eating on a daily basis. Exactly. Like that. Some of the families are like that, like say, like, you know, you, you choose to do something, but you know, others are not so supportive. No, I'm very fortunate that way because even when we go out to eat, and my husband and my daughters, they are always looking for the vegan options. options. First. That's fantastic. <laughs> and then we go there. That's fantastic. Um, so what other challenges? So, you know, I, I definitely would like to bring this point that Rama just mentioned. So even this podcast that we are doing today, 
it may or may not resonate with many people, right? Yes. Because there's so many different kinds of uh, like you know lifestyle people in our community, and that's totally okay. And that's the that's the whole idea of this podcast is to share your perspective, share yes. what works for you, and we take and give like whatever you know works resonates to us. And yes, definitely. it's not that what Rama is doing today, you all or we all have to do it. But the same thing, it's very important as an awareness. Yes. Like I'm a vegetarian, but. Am I ready to turn vegan now? I don't know. But at the same time, a lot of things about the vegan lifestyle impresses me. Like a lot of things I really want to try. But yes. maybe in future, maybe in five years. But, you know, I, I eat eggs every day because yes. I, I do very hard food training. I, I teach people. I do myself a lot of training. So I need a lot of protein. And because I'm vegetarian, thankfully, my husband allowed me to eat eggs. So I'm like, you know, I, I, I completely gave up on chicken and, you know, all the kind of meats and fish and everything. The only thing I st like stick to is eggs. Uh, then I just think like, okay, what can I substitute uh, instead of eggs? Oh, yeah, there, are so there, are, there are so many options. I know there are avocados. There's so many options. Yeah, tofu. Uh, tofu, so yeah, protein. yeah. Uh, but maybe I'm going to start doing yeah. that. I mean, I do tofu, I do paneer, I do everything. Um, uh, but then, then yeah, can I give up on paneer and just stick to tofu? Can I give up on... But I, I can. I'm eating everything. Yes. So it's just kind of, you know, making it a habit or making... get As you said, like, kind of knowing that, okay, I want to do it. Yes. One thing is doing. It's as simple as that. Yes. But at the same time, I feel I'm very, very uh, enlightened today because Rama is here and she very honestly talked about how she got motivated and it's not a lot of people will say oh no it was just i wanted to eat very healthy she exactly told the reason and i really have to congratulate her for that she didn't make up any excuses she totally said that what um, motivated her what actually impacted her with regards to the animal industry and how they're treated and she just wanted to you know from her mind her soul her heart wanted to kind of avoid that and just go for options which are already available and why not take advantage of yes definitely. so this is amazing and i'm sure like if not everyone i'm sure a lot of you are like rama and those who are not like rama can just understand a part of the perspective and see like you know just accept that and you know move on and everybody has a choice to make and everybody can you know do what they want to do but i'm very happy that you know uh, we, we, sh we are sharing this and we are talking about this. This yes, awareness likewise. is very important, likewise. very, very important. And um, I would also say that, you know, before giving up and before just saying no to it, just try it. Mm -hmm. Try it and, you know, and see uh, if these options work for you. Uh, because honestly, you have nothing to lose. You will just only gain. Yeah, you know, that's true. It. Uh, the last uh, podcast we did was with Priya Kanan. I don't know if you heard about it. And she talked about, she also talked about a good diet and healthy lifestyle while you are on vacation or traveling. Yes. So that was very interesting because most of the time we, we lose it, right? When we are yes. traveling, our diet, our lifestyle kind of messes up and we don't have the right diet or we don't find the restaurants or the options, yes. things like that. So how do we deal with or how still we eat healthy and maintain a good suitable lifestyle? So she said that before subtracting, add. Yes. So she gave a very nice point, which I think you kind of uh, just uh, uh, reiterated that before subtracting and a lot of people get very intimidated thinking about oh I have to give up this yes. I have to subtract this from my exactly. diet it's not about that start That's adding important. yeah start adding yes start you know making those a part of your diet and yes. then when you are already used to it you know sometimes with your normal milk also you can start trying oat milk yes, like I do oat milk with coffee I don't yes. do normal milk at all anyway I do green like you know just black coffee and tea but sometimes if I feel like adding milk, I just do oat milk and I just love it. I just love when I go to Starbucks, I just tell them to do oat milk instead of yes. the normal milk. Oh, yeah. So I just love it and I feel like, okay, I can do oat milk now. Yes. I'm ready for oat milk. Yes. It's like that. Yes. So start adding and see what works for you, what doesn't work for exactly. you, and then maybe choose what you feel good about. It's yes. as simple as exactly. that. Exactly. Right? Okay, so now I'm going to come to something very interesting. And the interesting part is that your little, very beautiful startup that you have just recently started. <laughs> so, Rama, so Rama has just recently started, uh, you know, um, a little kind of uh, food options, food delivery and pickup options with vegan diet, which I don't think I've ever heard in the entire DMV. The DMV area has a lot of 
restaurants and the small businesses, you know, you know yeah. restaurant type businesses, but I've never heard somebody doing it from the home. So Rama has very recently, I think last month, a couple of months yes. back, uh, last month. just last month she has started. And I really want her to talk a little bit about that, what motivated her and how she's trying to do that and what is her final goal, you know, so, yes. and after the podcast, I'm also going to uh, share more details and the flyer that she had, uh, but definitely I want to know more about it from you. Okay, so, uh, since I am very passionate towards animals uh, and I want to speak for them, uh, I'm actually um, an IT engineer from background mm -hmm. and uh, recently, like in November, uh, we, I got laid off after mm -hmm. 15 years of service. So anyhow, I saw that as it actually, actually I'm very, very thankful to them for doing it because it's very hard to just give up on like, you know, on a good paying job and, you know, just starting something on your, of your own. So now I want to, I don't want to work in IT. I don't want to work in anything. Um, I want to take the rest of my life now forward with this purpose that I want to do something for in, in the direction of spreading awareness for vegan. Mm -hmm. So what I realized is like, you know, when you go to, especially in this DMV area, we don't find much um, vegan, only vegan restaurants, That's like, true. you know, which are plant based only. Mm -hmm. So it's sometimes it becomes a little difficult to find uh, good options, although all restaurants are now trying to incorporate. trying to incorporate something. I think yeah. some of the restaurants have and, come and, up like the true food and those are vegan, right? Yeah, but then, but then many times, you know, uh, in office lunches also, I, I remember, you know, when you talk about vegan, like I used to go to Denver and San Diego, like, you know, for my office trips. And they're like, oh, you are vegan. Oh, let's all order salad. And I'm like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> because it doesn't mean you, you're just eat, eating salad. Hmm. You know, so there are so many different options. So anyhow, uh, so I want to provide people with the choices, healthy choices and variety of food, which is very tasty yes i want to make sure tasty <laughs> because yes i mean i do agree that some of the vegan restaurants i just don't feel the taste so i think that puts a lot of people off yes, yes. that vegan means it's not tasty so no, why do we there, there are great great uh, recipes out there and i, I just can't wait to try it out yeah. definitely I, i'm i'm uh, Indian, so definitely I cook Indian, and uh, then like all Thai and Chinese and American food and kinds of breads, cakes. I try to make everything. And so, do you like take order, or is it a prefixed thing that you do? I I provide the the menu like you know for uh, for two or three days, like you know, um, and in advance, okay. and then you know, that people can order. Okay, okay, very nice. But do you take also special order, like let's say we want to have a vegan party? That's awesome, awesome. <laughs> How about a vegan, WFG yes. vegan party? Awesome, awesome. And, uh, yeah. you know, we can, and you won't be disappointed. Okay, so. that's amazing. So, <laughs> all right, everyone, get to, you know, we, we have to do this. That's very nice, Rama, and I'm very fortunate that, you know, I'm very thankful that, you know, you brought this perspective and you shared this and, you know, we are very excited to try your menu and also like in future have these kind of, you know, options of maybe classical parties or something. Like we, we most of the time uh, do vegan cake yes. because uh, my in-laws, uh, they don't do eggs and things like that. Okay. So anyway, we are, we are used to it. But I'm more interested in tasty vegan food. <laughs> yes. And I'm, I'm sure like Rama could do that. So yes, I'm very, very excited and looking forward to that. And at the end of the podcast, we're also going to, uh, you know, in, in the YouTube link and also in any of the groups that we are going to share in our WM, WMFG website, we're going to share the podcast. So we'll have all the details. So definitely look forward to a lot of calls and messages. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. About the podcast and of course your uh, small startup. And good luck with that. Thank you. Thank you. So for again, thank you so much, Rama. I think this was a very productive discussion. A lot of things I we learned from you and a lot of things to think about, look forward to, and you know, feel feel about and you know, get in, you know, get into that. Um, so I'm I'm very excited for the vegan lifestyle future. Awesome. 